have with us the manager of the Chicago White Sox, Ricky Renneria, and with him as well is hitting coach Todd Steverson. Hello, guys. Hello. Hey, how you Hello. doing? Hey, Todd. Uh, Rick, I feel it's inappropriate for Connor to call you Ricky. Yeah. <laughs> uh, of all the uh, the guys coming to the new guys coming to the team and the prospects, uh, who are you guys most looking forward to working with? All of them, without yeah. offending yeah, anybody. Yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah. Every single one. Makeda. I mean, Makeda looks. Uh, I saw some footage on him working out in Arizona. That looked pretty good. He might okay. get on you though, because uh, it's pronounced Moncada. He might not turn around. That's and what, call I meant. <laughs> <laughs> that's what, I'm, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. Moncada. Uh, my apologies. But, he's, uh, he's, he's a he's a very polished uh, young man. Um, I mean, he's got good size, obviously speed. Um, he's uh, taking to uh, some of the things that they were working on in minicamp. I mean, uh, he's definitely a talented uh, individual. Yeah, yeah. It seems like I, I, I really like a lot. I like the move, all the moves. I think that yeah. uh, that Rick made, uh, Rick Hahn made in the off season. I, I think. Uh, I would, I would agree with you 110 percent. I think they yeah. did the best they could, got some of the best talent that's out there. They are now White Sox. Uh, we now have an opportunity to, to help them continue to develop, become a part of uh, what we hope is the White Sox way, which is, you know, getting after it. And, uh, you know, Trick uh, has been working with a lot of these uh, hitters uh, and trying to uh, help us improve our philosophies. And, and uh, I think uh, changes are good. Um, the direction we're going to take is hopefully going to be very positive, and we're looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah I, 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 think, I, think you, uh, I think you got to realize that these players are young, and uh, you, you should give them a little bit of time. It's not that easy just to jump up and, and be an all-star major league player. Uh, even even the guys that come out of the organization that weren't via trade, you know, uh, Tim Anderson, Saladino, uh, uh, Sanchez, you know, guys like that, they're still young. And you got to give them a little bit of time to, to mature into this game and uh, just realizing baseball is not an easy sport and it takes a little while to get, you know, to the level of uh, a pure major leaguer and, and even all-star caliber, which, which hopefully we all get those players to be. But, uh, you know, they're going to need some time. Just for yeah. a, a little background, yeah. I know you guys had the mini camp down in Arizona with 15 hitters there and a lot of those big young names were there. Uh, Todd, I wonder from your end, when you have those kind of young hitters there, is it is that camp an individual type approach, or are you trying to make a, a thread throughout uh, about hitting with those young men as you've got them there? Well, well I mean, lucky enough this year, I mean, like I said, Rick showed up uh, to the camp and, and was able to <coughs> excuse, <coughs> really start with a where we talk about the White Sox way mm. of of really what we want to be as an organization and an identity, and also that 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 re, that goes right through uh, hitters also. You know, what do we want to come in here? What do we want to look like? Well, bottom line for me has always been we got to be fundamentally sound as hitters. Uh, everybody loves to see home runs go out of ballpark. Um, everybody likes to see the doubles and, and the runs score. Well, there, there's a way to go about that. Uh, there's a professional way to go about that. And I think, uh, you know, we sit in a, a room that is probably scheduled out for about 30 minutes, and we end up talking for about two, two and a half hours about hitting. Wow. And uh, filibustering around and letting these, these kids talk about their experiences and, and really kind of letting it out because uh, it's, it's a little tough to talk about yourself sometimes. And I think you know, amongst your peers, back in the day when there weren't hitting coaches or anything like that, and Rick remembers that, you had to rely on your teammates and your roommate and whoever it was to help you out. And it's always good to have good uh, hitting banner go around and listen to everybody talk. Yeah, that's a good point. And before everybody could go in and analyze their swing on video after every at bat, right? Yeah, that, that that's not the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that 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 gets a it little. It seems like more. that would make you a little too self-conscious. Well, I mean, in today's day and age, you know, um, crazy enough with all the technology that's out there and the instant, you know, the instant gratification or instant uh, uh, result of what just happened. If it, if it was a pitch you didn't like or. If it was a pitch you swung as you did, like you can take a look at it, you know, no longer than five or six seconds after it just happened, and um, sometimes that's okay. Some most of the time, I would say no. Uh, if you yeah. watch the game, because you don't, you're not on the bench watching that video. You got to watch the game to learn the game, and to be there for your teammates and cheer them on. And you can learn more by sitting and watching than you can looking at a pitch if it was a strike or a ball. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, uh, Rick, and uh, I pose this to both uh, uh, Rick, uh, Mr. Renteria, and to, to Todd. How do you guys feel about the video replays in baseball? 
Well, it's obviously... Are you, are you allowed to talk about that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, uh, everybody wants to use it to, you know, it's been put in to, obviously, to make sure that the plays are, are you know, called properly. Uh, I know. Sometimes, <laughs> I mean, sometimes... It messes uh, up the whole flow of the game. Yeah, a little bit. I think, uh, I think that, that the game, that we're trying to do some things, I think, that are going to hopefully expedite the process, but... At, and at the end of the day, I mean, you're still going to stop the game uh, to review the play. You have to have your video guy look at it, and uh, they give you a few moments to, to decide whether, you know, you're going to make the call to go ahead and review it or not. We try to establish norms of certain parameters that we follow so we can make a call immediately as, as, as quickly as we possibly can. But uh, that's more of a strategic type of aspect that we deal with on a daily basis during ball games. Uh, in and of yeah. itself, I know it slows it down a little bit, but, you know, it's, it's gotten some things right and it still needs to be tweaked a little bit, I guess, but uh, that'll, it's, a, it's a work in progress. Yeah, yeah, no, I understand, and I, I mean, I'm, uh, I know that you know a team can benefit from it, but it, for me, it just kind of messes up the whole time-space continuum of the game. Hmm. Are you a, are you a, are you a football fan? Clock. Are you a football fan? Yeah, but football's different. It's made for TV. <laughs> Baseball's meant for just being there and watching it. Well, they're doing it in all sports. You know, you watch an NBA game. They're stopping to make sure if it was a flagrant foul or if it was a, a, a really a three-pointer, if it wasn't a three-pointer. Really, at the end of the day, I think all they're trying to do is get the call right. And yeah. uh, that's the premise of the whole thing. Now, it does slow the game down. Sometimes it does take them a little long to figure it out. But uh, if they get the call right, and, and if it happens to go in your favor, that's that's good. But sometimes it doesn't go in your favor. Um, sometimes they see things that we don't see, and, and that's why uh, it says you know safe or out or whatever it is. But uh, yeah. it's an ongoing process, and hopefully it'll it'll be good for the game by the end. Yeah. Okay. So, but generally, you'd rather have things be right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. All right, guys. Well, thanks for talking to us. Uh, uh, congratulations, uh, Rick, on becoming the manager. Um, we've just seen a, a, a very uh, impressive rebuilding process take place on the north side, and I believe we are at the beginning or somewhere, you know, um, at the start of one on the south side, and that's, that's exciting for Sox fans. Well, we're all excited about it. Thanks for having us. We really appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you very much.